Welcome everybody to the presentation Human to AI Coach Improving Human Inputs to AI Systems. My name is Johannes Schneider. I'm an assistant professor in data science at the University of Liechtenstein. So today we see more and more information flowing from humans to AI systems. So in some countries, more than 10% of online searches are done through voice commands. Also, if you are commonly using smartphones or tablets, you're well aware that these systems can recognize not only speech, but also handwriting and many kinds of gestures. So this communication between AI and humans is not error-free. In particular, the AI often misunderstands human inputs. And there's some funny stories and some who are probably not so funny. So a typical example is uh, Alexa. So Alexa is a system that allows you to place uh, online orders through voice commands. So you can say something like, Alexa, please order me this and that, and Alexa executes this for you and you get the order delivered. And there were instances where someone said these commands on a TV show and all the people who had the TV channel on and also Alexa on, Got that product shipped so that product was shipped a couple of thousand times just because of that now this type of misunderstanding might be funny but if you think about uh, doctors that communicate with an ai and there's misunderstanding it's probably less funny either way um, the communication between ai and humans is well studied and typically what people do is improve the AI system. So anyone who works on improving classification accuracy, for example, is kind of helping to reduce misunderstandings. In this paper, we go a different route. So we say, well, of course, it makes a lot of sense to make the AI better, but can we also help the humans to communicate uh, his or her attentions better? So uh, a possible scenario how a human to AI coach might come into play and help to change from misunderstandings to understanding is the following. So there's a human and he provides some inputs to an AI system, might be speech, but in other paper we consider um, handwriting and you see that the handwriting is kind of ambiguous so it could be seen more as a four if you like it could also be seen more as a nine right so there's different options how you can interpret it and in the, the example here the ai understands it as a four and consequently executes the order so in this case the guy uh, seems to have ordered four beer but he really wants nine. So obviously he's not happy if he just gets half of the amount that he ordered. Now, how does our human to AI coach come into play? Well, what it, it does is it takes an input or potentially multiple inputs of a person and provides suggestions how to improve. So you see here on the top row, this nine or four, it's actually changed uh, that it really becomes a well readable nine. Uh, for the case of the seven, the seven is changed. Also, in this case, it's pretty much just simplified. So more or less the stroke in the middle is removed. And the six here is also changed by a little bit of rotation and removing some strokes. And you might say, well, I, I would have expected different outcomes uh, in one way or another. Now, uh, the thing that you have to keep in mind is that there's multiple objectives that you can optimize for. So how you want your communication to be. You can say, I want it primarily to be error-free. So you maximize the accuracy in our uh, case where, with which an AI can recognize the input. But you can also say, well, actually I want to change communication, not just for errors, but I want it to be very simple to create. So then something like this here is actually a big plus because it's uh, much less effort to write this uh, than this or uh, the seven here uh, compared to this seven. So there's a lot of difference in effort. But you can also say what I really want to go for is minimum uh, change by the human. So 
the generated output should also be quite similar to the input. So these are some objectives we have uh, more in the paper. And hopefully if you then uh, follow this advice by the human to AI coach, so you write your inputs as suggested, then the AI understands it better and uh, you finally get what you want. Now, the question is then, how can you realize or implement something like this? Well, in the paper, what we did is we defined a set of loss terms um, that uh, hopefully help in reaching these communication goals. And uh, they are integrated into a total loss function through weights. So these weights are, of course, subject to some hyperparameter tuning but they also express to a large extent what you as a human prefer. Do you, are you willing to change a lot? Are you uh, primarily focused on, on getting inputs that are simple? Um, or what, what do you want to have? Uh, the entire system architecture that optimizes uh, or that is uh, optimized for these objectives is a deep learning neural network. It consists of several parts like an autoencoder, but also a gun style discriminator. Um, yeah, so I I defer details to the paper. So here you see some of the results. I'm not discussing them in detail. They're pretty much similar to the prior examples that I've shown. Uh, I welcome any kind of discussion or questions that you have, or of course also um, any ideas on, on future work probably uh, together. Thanks a lot. Uh, have a nice day.